Welcome back to Boxing Unwrapped. I'm your host, MLF the Artist. Uh, if you heard, probably uh, there seems to be some rumors going around that Derek James has split from Errol Spence. And I don't think it's rumor anymore. I think we pretty much know that that actually happened. But I guess there's been another rumor going around that the reason for the split is because Derek James is suing Errol Spence. For what? Okay. So, Showbiz Diero, again, because he's kind of been leading the charge on it, or at least on the, from what I'm aware of, on what's been happening, right? So, he first leaked the story that they split, and he said, you know, said what he said and showed what he showed. And now today, or tomorrow, depending on when you watch this video, the next following day, um, it will still be today. But anyway, whatever. He says it's because of a lawsuit, possibly. Let me explain. Lawsuit seems to, or possible lawsuit, well, let's call it dispute. The dispute on why they actually broke up seems to be over money, specifically percentages over split, right? So, like, if I think there's, like, a mandatory, I think, 6 or six or 5%, something like that, that a trainer gets from the fighter of the purse. From the purse. So, if you negotiate, you know, a million dollars, you get 6% as a trainer, right? If you negotiate $10 million, you get 6% out of $10 million. Problem is, so now Derek James, after all of these years, after all of these years, he's been with Arrow Spence. He says, ha, huh, I don't get any back-end money. I don't get a split from that. Hmm. So, if Arrow makes, he negotiates a $5 million purse... At the pay-per-view in gate, he makes 30. He only got that split, that percentage of the 5 million that was the guaranteed purse. Okay. Now, Derek James realizes this. Derek James then realizes that, that this is happening. Hmm. Let's go with that, though. Let's go with that. That's what's happening. So then we're to assume that if that's the case, that Ryan Garcia is paying him out of the totality of the event. We're going to assume that Anthony Joshua was paying him for his totality of it. We're going to assume that Frank the Ghost Martin has been paying Derek James from the totality of his win of his earnings, not just the guaranteed purse. If that's the case, why did he wait so long to approach Errol Spence about it? So my thing is this: I don't. I don't think it might be about that because it just sounds funny that Derek James is getting paid in totality from other fighters and not the guy who he's been with forever. I mean, forever. Is it just because Errol Spence in the last couple of fights have been making like mega money and so Derek is like, damn, I wish I had some of that and the other fighters don't generate that? It just, I don't see, I don't understand how... We could wait this long into the career before you realize that you, sh that you think you should have been paid from the totality of all earnings of the fighter, not just a guaranteed purse. And are you demanding that? And do you have that written into the contract where you enter a contract to train a new fighter? Do you, as Derek James, put that into the contract of, hey... I'm going to be a trainer. I accept you have hired me, but I need whatever the 6% is or whatever percentage we decide on. It has to be the totality of your purse, not just a guaranteed purse. And if that's the case, why wasn't that agreement with Errol Spence all along? It would seem to me that the model of how you get paid moving forward would be based on however you were dealing with Errol Spence. Since that's your longest fighter that you've had with the most success. So those are the questions I have. I don't think that it sounds logical at all that that would be it. I mean, it could be it. I just don't see how he would treat, he would enter into agreements with other fighters differently than he would with Errol Spence. And then in the end, be mad as if maybe it was an ongoing thing. Maybe that was the case. Maybe he was telling the other fighters, hey, I need that split. And they agreed. And maybe he was trying to let Errol Spence know, hey, they are doing it. I need you to do it. And maybe Errol said, no. Nah. You get what I guarantee make as a purse because nothing else for me is guaranteed. And so that's mine that I earned that separate. I don't know. Maybe that's the case, right? Maybe that's how he feels. I don't know. Leave your comments down below. What do you think? Is Showbiz, you know, correct? Do you think he's right on with the assumption or with the information he's gotten? To me, it doesn't, it just sounds far-fetched. It doesn't, it doesn't sit 
well with how other, the other fighters in the stable are probably being treated. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? And do you think that, you know, it's going to get uh, resolved amicably? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.